Hey guys, Ian here from Co-Career Today. Co-Career with me so you can create a better tomorrow. Today, I want to talk about esoteric knowledge and how a lot of the ancient fundamental laws are in today's religions, but they're not really, they're not exemplified as much as they should. And through translation, a lot of the meaning has uh, been distorted. Now, when we talk about esoteric like, ideas and hermetic laws, we're really talking about the universal um, nature of things. And when we can connect to these universal nature, natural laws, we're able to really um, live life as if we're flowing with it. See, when we can connect to this universal esoteric like laws, you could say, imagine you're flowing down a river. And when we have all these knowledge and we have all this um, freedom, we're able to go with the flow of the river. However, we're still managing our way around. We still can maneuver and the whole river is behind us. Now, today in our society, we have a very very plethora of confused people and most of the people nowadays in our civilization are swimming upstream. They are flowing with the river yet trying to swim up and it is not working for them. They are not getting the results they would like. They do not have the relationships that they wish they had and life is kind of a drag <laughs> only because they're dragging themselves now the idea of esoteric knowledge and hermetic uh, principles are ways to let yourself go and ways to realize what the ego is and how it works and how to let it go now from what I've learned is learning about the esoteric and the hermetic like laws and language it's all about becoming one with yourself and the first step in doing so is creating that unity of the present we realize we have past we realize there's a future but where we're at is the present and that's one of the most fundamental laws of our universe is now is the moment of power now we know this because tomorrow never comes and all we really have is this present moment that we're internally in and when we can get deeper and deeper and deeper into that present moment the more and more power we become more confident we become and all of the universe is there at our fingertips. However, it's just a matter of becoming present and becoming vulnerable so you can be filled with that, that almighty knowledge. I know a lot of these uh, hermetic laws because I studied the seven principles of Huna for about a year or so and I know the Hawaiian words however the laws are the same so another one I'm not going to go through all of them for uh, time's sake but another one is is a principle of karma what what is given is what is got um, so basically what you give is what you receive and how this works is who you are inside is what is in your external environment this this law of the universe and this fundamental concept of karma 
is what literally drives our life. And each and every one of us are karma. We're not there because we're just there and there's no consequences. We're there because there's been action and thus consequences in doing so. So today I'm sitting right here, but because of my past and because of what I've been through is why I'm here doing this. This is a consequence of my actions previously. Now, everyone hears and knows the concept of karma, but people don't understand how it really works. You don't have good or bad karma, you are karma. And karma is an expression in which you are emitting. So if you're expressing a bad, like, mojo, you're going to receive bad mojo. If you're receiving, receiving and giving good energy, you're going to, that's what, what's, what's going to be in your external environment and your internal. So don't decide whether something's good or bad. It's, it is what it is. And um, I always can quote William Shakespeare, nothing nor is nor good or bad, but thinking makes it so. So another thing is, uh, another hermetic principle is everything is mental. So before anything can exist on the external plane, there must be uh, a thought form to create it. So. If we live in a dualistic world and universe, then that means that there is black and white, material and thought. So when we can combine the two and know that um, before there is ever material, there's always the thoughts, we can begin to really become conscious of what we're thinking and what we're putting in our head. Now, if we continually put good content and think very great affirmations, we're going to see that reflect in our external life. And that's another idea of karma. If we're, if we're becoming good inside, we're going to get good externally. Now, I can go on um, forever about the Hermetic Laws. and. I will make a video going over every single one of them. However, I just wanted to talk about how we can use these laws in our everyday life and how it's not necessarily being spiritual to a point where it's um, almost all spiritual and no material. It's, it's very equal and it's very balanced. And this idea of the bodhisattva is what I'm going and trying to create because bodhisattva is a, a person who sees it as a game yet still plays it and they are not too spiritual or too material they're right in the middle in that present moment now if we can wrap our head around this we know that we're spiritual, we know that we're mental, and we're able to live a very amazing, abundant life. We're able to have freedom within ourselves as well as freedom in this eternal, external environment. We're able to have our, have our hearts and also have whatever we ever would dream of. And when you can react to a situation with full heartedness and really not let your emotions ever get in the way, you know that you're a spiritual person. You know that, that whatever is to come is whatever will be. And whether that's good or bad, you know that you're going to go through it and still experience and learn from it. So having that feel you and having that back you up makes you a lot less anxious, anxious and a lot less um, 
emotionally unstable. So having that spiritual side is one side, but also having the material and the fruit on your tree to actually give yourself the best life you can have. You also you know that everything is mental, so you've created this abundant life, and you've you've accomplished all these great um, attributes about yourself, and you're able to use your spiritual side to um, love and experience the material size. So it's a combination of the two. And when you're too, um, you're too top heavy on either side, that's where problems like grow from. However, this idea of the Bodhisattva who takes in all the universal laws in consideration and lives in that present moment, bringing the spiritual and the material side together and playing that game as the Godhead, as the face of God, to really live the best possible life possible. And that's why I'm creating these videos and that's why I'm growing myself every single day so I can, I can become who I'm supposed to become. So, I hope you guys take something from this video, become who you are, and let's co-create together. Have a great day, guys.